So you wanna be a graphic designer, eh? Well, I got good news for you. That's what this video is about. And I got five on it. Not five dollars, but five tips to help you know and understand what it's gonna take for you to become a graphic designer. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, I'm Adrian Boysell and welcome back to the Adrian Graphics channel. These are the five things that you're gonna need to know if you wanna be a graphic designer. The first thing is you gotta learn the programs. It doesn't matter what program it is other than paint. Please don't use paint and think you're gonna become a graphic designer. I don't even know if they still make paint, but if they do, don't use it. Use something like Adobe, Affinity Designer. There's lots of different options out there. There's even Canva, but find a good graphic design tool that you can use to practice your skills and learn that program, learn everything you can about it. Go to other YouTube channels, watch videos on it, read books, consume as much content around the programs that you're gonna use as possible. The only reason why you wouldn't want to use a program like Adobe is the cost. There are a lot of programs with public schools and some, some private schools where you can get deals on Adobe and you can get free design software through your school. But if you can't afford to spend a ton of money, then use a free software. These programs are really, really important to know and to know how they work and to get the most out of them. I spent years and years and years of my career just studying the programs alone. One of my favorite teachers that teaches Adobe is Terry White. So if you want a good resource for Adobe and how to learn some of those programs, go check out Terry White. He is the Adobe evangelist. He teaches all the different programs from Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere, Lightroom, all of those programs. You can pretty much learn anything you wanna know from Terry White. He does these hour long videos where he teaches you all the ins and outs of the programs on the basic level. And then if you wanna go deeper, you can even do that as well. So you gotta learn these programs. These are really, really important to know. The second tip I have for you is design principles. If you wanna be a graphic designer, an intermediate, novice, or a great graphic designer, you need to learn these design principles. And some of the design principles are balance, unity, color theory, layout, uh, man, there's so many of them, contrast. You need to learn these principles, you need to understand them, because if you're using multiple fonts on the design or you're not using enough white space, or if your designs are looking cluttered, this is gonna really affect the outcome of your design work, and it's gonna look really low quality, or it's gonna look cheap, or it's gonna look amateur. And so one of the things that I did in the very beginning of my career that we're gonna talk about here in one of the other tips is studying other designers and other artists out there that are doing amazing work and watching what they do and replicating it. I've always been good at imitating and mimicking other people's stuff. And so through doing that, it enhanced my skills. So that's just a little tip for you, a little bonus tip, but you need to learn these design principles. These are really, really important. If you don't know these, you need to study them, whether you do it through a course, whether you do it through trainings, whether you do it through YouTube, whatever you gotta do to learn the design principles, Google it. Google is the main answer for the majority of the challenges and questions and problems that I face in my business. And you can find a lot of great information and just find the common patterns within design theory and only take advice from people that you would wanna switch places with. So the third one is mentoring and coaching. Part of what I do here is mentoring. Go find somebody that you can connect with, you can collaborate with, that you can work with, that will take the time and invest into you. You may have to spend some money if you're gonna hire a coach or if you're gonna actually hire somebody to train you and take you through their process like I do with my students, but you're gonna need to make that investment into yourself. You will bring the greatest ROI. If you invest into yourself, that will make you more money than anything else you invest into. Equipment, that stuff pays well, but nothing is going to pay as well as investing into mentorship, coaching, and training. That could even be a course. So you really need to think about that. You need to have somebody that can hold you accountable, that's gonna push you, that's gonna take you through their process and show you the ropes so you can avoid some of those pitfalls. This is really important as well. The fourth thing that you need to be looking at and really focused on is building your portfolio. Building a portfolio is gonna do a couple things. First, it's gonna allow you to look back on the work that you're doing and see the progression that you have, not just for yourself, but for clients, for people that started to doing work with you where you're doing stuff for free, pro bono, to now when you're getting paid, to start re-increasing your rates, you're gonna be able to show the progression of where you started to where you are today. I did a video that I'll hold, try to tag up here in the top description that I did, it talked about I was a horrible designer. I was, when I first started, I was a great artist, but I was a horrible designer. And it took hours and hours, thousands of hours of practice 
to actually become a great designer. They say to become an expert at anything, you have to put 10,000 hours in. I'm probably at 50,000 hours now. So you've got to put the time in, you got to make the investment and you need to build that portfolio. It's really important. The fifth thing, and I talked about this a little bit earlier in the video, is you need to stay inspired by people that are more talented than you. Whoever that is, find those people in your life that inspire you. Other designers, people on Instagram, maybe even your competitors, people that you wanna be like. And model, imitate, mimic, and clone what they're doing. That's gonna help you a lot, and it's gonna help you get inspired. You gotta get inspired. Go look at Google Images, go look at Behance. These are some great resources for you. You can go to Adobe Stock. There's a lot of different places where you can get inspired. YouTube and Instagram are probably my two favorites. I really love YouTube and I love Instagram. There's incredible artists on there. And go check out our friends over at The Future. They're doing a lot of amazing stuff and they have great content as well. But this is really important that you stay inspired. That's how I do it. I'm constantly looking at my competitors, looking at people that I'm inspired by. One of my favorites personally as an artist is Jeff Granito. Go check him out on Instagram. You'll be blown away. He does stuff with Disney. So just really important to stay inspired. So those are the five tips I wanted to give you. If you want to become a graphic designer, those are the basic things that you should be following. Those are the five tips. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you all. And I'm Adrian Boysell. And as always, keep looking up.